Have you been told that cash is king? Is that an outdated statement? My name is Joe Mavo with Master Life by Design and today I'm here to talk to you about why I agree with Grant Cardone that cash is not king and what to do instead. All right, let's jump in and let's be real right out of the gate, cash is a liability, right? Cash is not king, it's a liability. You're like, Joe, how's cash a liability? Well, we're losing to inflation when you hold on to that paper money, right? You might be sitting there and you might have your money in your safe or you know, hiding around your house somewhere. You're losing to inflation every year. That is a liability. A liability is something that takes money away from you, right? Well, guess what? You're losing money every year that you hold on to it. And so, I, look, I'm a believer and it says in the Bible, you're supposed to go out there and multiply your money. You're supposed to go out there and bless other people. Well, you can't go out and bless a ton of other people if you don't have any. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out there and be filthy rich like Grant Cardone, but you can make a bigger impact with the more that you make, but you gotta be a good steward to your money. If you're not, you're just gonna have a life of difficulty. Because what do most people do? Most people, what they do is they save. They put money away and they save. They save, they put in their checking or their savings account, and they just save their money. And it's like you're hoarding your money, and we already know that you're losing to inflation. On top of that, I don't know anyone that saved their way to wealth. I don't know anyone that was able to put money in their checking or their savings account, and at the end of their life, whenever they decide to retire, they would retire. I've never seen it I've never heard of it now how people do get free to retire or to have the life that they want is they have to stop hoarding saving or as Grant Cardone would say storaging that money it's like you put it the money in storage and it just sits there and it does nothing the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to go out and invest that money See, you gotta invest that storage unit, right? What, the money you have in that storage unit because it's doing nothing for you. But you also have to build up your storage unit. Like Grant talks about how, if you, we're gonna give you some simple numbers here, you wanna save 40% of your income. And if you're like, Joe, I can't do that, well, you gotta shift your mindset if you wanna be able to go out and bless others, be able to retire early, or have a life of freedom that you desire. You gotta get ahead of the game because nowadays, the system's not set up for you to have success and to win. It's for you to struggle and get by. And so cash isn't king anymore. You can't just save your way to wealth. So you wanna save 40% of your income. I love the example Grant gives. If you're making 10 grand a month, you gotta give 40% to yourself. And then obviously you gotta pay taxes, which roughly is 40%, which means you got 4,000 to yourself, 4,000 to the IRS, and then that means you live off of 2,000. You might sit there and be like, Joe, I can't do that. My bills are way more than that. You gotta start figuring out how do you make more? Right, because what you wanna do is you don't wanna just put stuff in a storage unit, it's never gonna work. You gotta go out there and you gotta invest it. You gotta invest that 40%. You gotta go out there and allow those you know, Benjamins to create more Benjamins, right? That's how you get ahead. You gotta be able to invest and you gotta invest smart, right? Because the goal is, for most people, it's like to create freedom, right? To have that life where you don't have to work but you choose to work if you so desire or to build that business you always wanted to. But you gotta be able to make sure that you invest your money. And where do you invest though? That's the key. Well, where you invest is in passive income streams, right? That's how you build your wealth. So there's things like Amazon. Right now, Amazon drop shipping, that's huge. You could do that. Yes, are there some risk? Absolutely, is there competition? Where isn't there competition, right? But you might wanna do Amazon. Maybe you wanna do, go in there, like put it into dividend stock like at t where you could get, you know, seven or 8% on your money where you could get that every, uh, you know, every year. And so what is it for you, maybe it's even, you're looking at my favorite is real estate. You're investing in real estate properties where you can get cash flow. You're looking for wedge deals where you can buy lower than the price and maybe put a little bit of money into it. And then the new value, the ARV is way more than what you paid for it. And then you can even refinance, get that money out, go do it again and have a positive cash flow each month because the goal is to create passive income. When your passive income surpasses your monthly expenses, you're financially free, baby. You can go and do what you want, or at least have the same lifestyle 
without having to do something like a nine to five job or do something that you hate. You can actually go create whatever you want, your passion project, which you're probably gonna make more money in anyway when you do that. The goal is to get free so you can work on projects that allow you to go out there and make an impact for other people and make an income for yourself and grow your wealth as time goes on. If you're holding on to cash, you're bringing cash everywhere with you, that's cool, but if you're trying to save and put in that storage unit, it's not gonna work. So let me ask you, what are you doing with your money? Are you just shoveling it in your savings account? Or maybe you're just blowing it because that's what a lot of people do nowadays, they blow it. I think the stat is like over 70% of people don't even have $1,000 in their savings account. You know, I'm all about having a rainy day emergency fund, having a couple months of you know security. You don't need to have a ton because you could take all that money and invest it and actually create passive income where you could get free quicker. But you gotta ask yourself, what are you doing with it? Are you in a portfolio that's growing rapidly? Are you taking advantage of the passive opportunities that are out there? Because there's so many of them. I just gave you a few examples, but I'm sure you know so many others. You could be part of a real estate syndication. There's so many ways to create passive income. The question is, are you in the game? Are you in the game of investing your money and looking at creating passive income streams that surpass your monthly expenses so that you can be free? Cash is not king nowadays. Your goal, what's really king, is passive income. And you do that by going out there and taking the money that you have and you earn and multiplying it. But you have to be disciplined right out of the gate. You have to figure out how do I survive off of that 20%? And if your 20% isn't enough, you need to go out and create more money quickly. Get a new job, start a business, get a side hustle, drive Uber, whatever you need to do to start jacking up your income so that you can be able to put 40% of your income away and pay your expenses. I know I did that. I acted broke for many years and I was broke. I was $40,000 in debt almost. I was eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by. I had no job, I had nothing. I was just like, ah, I was in network marketing. And so I had to act broke the entire time. And now, you know, there's times where people ask to do things and I'm kind of like, I'm frugal, right? It's like, I'm frugal, I act broke, but I got a lot of money for me in the bank. And so an investment, should I say. And as we start to create even more passive income, I still act broke because I wanna take that money, put it away. Every month we're putting over 40% of our income away and that's on top of tithing 10%. So you gotta ask yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice to to get there because I had to make a ton of sacrifices no snowboarding no going out to eat no movies right no new clothes none of that stuff I had to sacrifice for a while to get to where I wanted to get to but my friends at the time when they knew I was broke and in debt you know they knew the sacrifice that I was making and then over time I was debt free. They didn't know I was debt free. And then I had you know 20 grand in the bank. I had 50 grand in the bank. I had 100 grand in the bank. They had no clue because nothing changed. I acted broke to get to where I am today for our portfolio to grow the way it needs to. What do you need to do? You gotta check your money. Cash is not king. Don't believe that lie and make sure that you're starting to invest your money. I don't care if you're just starting putting $5 in, get in the game. You have to get in the game and then look at how can I create passive income to get away. That's a whole different mindset. You do that and you'll be able to set yourself up for an abundant future. If you don't, you're gonna find yourself on just social security, if it's even around in the future, barely scraping by when all you had to do is shift the way that you think and, and start to invest and look at passive income streams. Cash is not king, it's a liability. Don't let anyone tell you that it is, it's a lie. So if you guys found value, please hit that thumbs up button, comment below, what was your biggest takeaway, your biggest distinction, I'd love to hear it. Other people might wanna hear what you took away, most importantly, hit the subscribe button. The more people that subscribe, the more interactions we have, the more we can grow as a community together. Plus, I'm putting out three videos a week for you guys where you're gonna be able to get topics on personal development, relationships, you know, your personal relationship and your intimacy, business, finances. You're gonna start to get mindset shifts and strategies that are gonna help you be able to rapidly increase the success in any area of your life if you actually apply it. So hit that subscribe button. I'm Joe Mavu with Master by design. Thanks for joining. See you on the next video. See ya.